What's happening, everybody? This is Jim from JCRC. I'm back again with the WL Toys. Little update. This is literally about half hour after I posted that video um, on upgrading the front end. I did have a problem with this uh, front dog bone sliding out of that that upper out the out drive right there. Um, first, as soon as I took off, I just jammed the gas, got the front wheels in the air, landed, compressed the suspension, and that little baby popped right out. Uh, I tried adjusting my uh, camber caster here and brought it in a little bit but by the time I got it in far enough to where it was uh, no longer going to be a problem the wheel was just cranked in all the way uh, so that wasn't going to work um, so what I did is I took the front spindle back apart and I'm attaching a washer um, to the back half of the spindle here to force the drive shaft uh, further in that way um, there's just a little, little teeny weeny pinch of room that I had on the end uh, between the pin and the hex and the end of the, the steering turnbuckle here. So I'm going to put this little washer on here and see if I can solve that little problem with a sear washer. So let's give this a try. Give me one minute here to slap this back together. And I've literally taken this front end apart. This little kingpin and, and steering knuckle. I've had this on and off and on and off on and off about 20 times since the last time I hit the pause button. Um, I've got my washers are all drilled out and everything, but they're just a little bit too thick. So I've been using this little cutoff wheel as a sanding disc and just been uh, removing the metal basically off this washer, trying to thin it out a little bit here to make the pin go through at the very end. So a couple more minutes here. Well, now it's been apart and back together about, I don't know, 30, 35 times, maybe more. I just keep sanding this little washer down, trying to get it just right. So there's going to be enough gap to get the pin through at the end. So, a couple more minutes here. I don't know if you can see that hole there, but it's almost there. I need to just sand down just a pinch more. Just a pinch more. And hopefully that drive shaft won't come undone up there anymore I didn't have a problem with the passenger side when I took it out it's kind of stayed together it's it seems to be up there a little bit farther than the driver's side but a couple more trips on the sander here and I'll get this thing perfect boy oh boy I tell you what I have been sanding and filing and sanding and filing on this little washer trying to make it thin enough to make that gap work just right see it all over my fingers actually kind of burnt my fingers because I've been pushing so hard on that washer I swear to god that thing's made out of animantium same stuff as Wolverine it's just a cheap household washer man I've been working on this thing for two hours I probably had that thing apart I don't know at least a hundred times by now still working on it well that's only taking a couple hours I think I finally have this washer thin enough to make it work. And if anybody out there is thinking to themselves, you know what? I really want a Viterra Twin Hammers, but I don't want to spend the money. I'll go out and get a WL Toys. Don't do it. Just get save up your money, get the Twin Hammers. You'll you'll uh, thank yourself in the long run. Uh, because this thing is a lot of work, and there's really, you know, I mean, if you want to get aftermarket parts, you got to go with the Viterra. And uh, some of them don't jive, like these uh, dog bone ends or axle shafts are just a little bit too short. I would say just uh, you'll save yourself a big pain in the butt in the long run if you just go out and or save up your money and get a Viterra instead. Just saying. Well, I think I might have success here. I got the pin back in it. I've got the little washer on the back edge there in between the spindle and the bearing. You see a little bit of it sticking out right there on the side. And that shaft is just barely inside the cup there. A little bit farther on the passenger side still. And I'm not too sure why. I don't know if maybe that, that uh, the cup sticks out a little bit further on the side of the differential. I know everything on the inside is the same, so I'm not too sure. I know when I took it out and drove it a couple minutes ago, or a couple minutes ago, a couple hours ago after I finished putting it together, the driver's side is the side that kept popping out, so 
I'm going to slap this one back together and go take it for a run and see how it does. Well, she's all back together and I'm sitting outside. Last time I attempted to jump off my porch here, that's when that, the first time that drive shaft or half shaft came apart. So uh, let's see if it holds up. I think I still have four wheel drive. Yep, it is definitely holding together so far. Little tire rub. All right, well that held up. I moved to my backyard to try bigger and better things. Take a leap, up, leap off the hot tub here and see if it holds up off of that. If it holds up off of this, then it's good to go. Well, it held up, let's try it again. It didn't have a smooth landing on that one. Oh, still not a smooth landing. Not a smooth landing, but it still held up. Yeah, she doesn't land too smooth, but uh, the parts seem to be holding on there still. Flat landing off of that one, and it, uh, it seems to be in four-wheel drive still. It might be fixed. Yeah, it's definitely not a perfect fix, but uh, it held up so far. For uh, what I threw at it out in my backyard, I really don't have much to throw at it in my backyard. So I'm going to have to take this thing out tomorrow somewhere and uh, put it through its paces and see how it holds up. Um, can't see it from here, but I know this passenger side is lined up pretty good. It's this driver's side, it's a pain in the butt. Alright, thanks for watching everybody. It only took me an additional three hours to get that rigged up. I uh, started out with a fat washer like this. Then I had to drill out the center of it a little bit bigger and then file it down to roughly half the size that it is right now or half the thickness. So a little over eight minutes for you guys to watch and three hours for me to accomplish. <laughs> Thanks for watching everybody. This is Jim from JCRC and hopefully with a success story from the WL Toys 10-428 with the Viterra uh, front drivetrain. Uh, thanks again. Oh yeah, that's Viterra Twin Hammers. Thanks again for watching, everybody. Click like and subscribe, all that good stuff. You all have a good night.